What's going on guys? It's your boy CMB. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, smash that like button, and let's get into this one really quickly. Now guys, I want to talk a little bit about the WBO welterweight champion uh, Terrence Bud Crawford. Now I know a lot of hardcore boxing fans as well as some casuals uh, are still wanting that fight, that super mega fight at 147 with him and Errol the True Spence Jr. And honestly, guys, I think that fight will happen uh, next year. Uh, I do think that fight will happen probably late next year because uh, Errol Spence Jr. just might face off against Keith one time Thurman. I'm hoping that he actually fights Keith Thurman before going into a fight with Terrence Bud Crawford uh, due to the fact that Terrence Bud Crawford did take a little tune up fight with David Avenesian. Uh, you guys know uh, back on December the 10th, uh, he had a... I think it was a six-round knockout, and uh, Errol Spence hasn't been in the ring since he faced off against Jordanus Ugas uh, last summer, guys. So I think it's only right that Errol takes a fight with Keith one time Thurman to make sure he's sharp before going into a fight with Terrence Bud Crawford. But here's the thing I want to talk about with Terrence Bud Crawford. Uh, I think Terrence Bud Crawford wants that fight with Errol but for some reason, I just get the feeling that he has this disdain uh, for uh, Jamel Charlo. I think he wants to smoke with Jamel Charlo more than he wants it with Errol the True Spence Jr. Uh, I know he knows that the fight with Errol is a big money fight, but I think he really wants to mix it up with Charlo. I just get that feeling. I could be wrong, but he is always... Uh, Poking at Charlo for some reason. Uh, you guys know Jamel Charlo fights at 154. Uh, he's the undisputed champion at 154. And uh, you, you have Crawford who's never fought at 154. But he has it in his mind uh, that he can beat uh, Jamel Charlo. Uh, and I want to talk about what he had to say on Twitter. Now... Errol was uh, on ES News. Uh, I think he was being interviewed on ES News. And I'm going to quote what Errol said about Crawford. He says, Crawford ain't fighting Jamel if I can't fight him. He ain't fighting Jamel. So basically, he's saying that Crawford won't get Jamel un until he comes through him first. And, of course, Crawford, you know, had something to say about that. Uh, he posted something on Twitter uh, taking a jab at uh Jamel Charlo. So I want to read what he had to say. He says, ah, at Twin Charlo, I see why you had your pom-poms on so heavy at Errol Spence Jr. is your daddy. So it makes sense now you should have just said that, man. My bad, EJ, for talking to your son like that. Let's keep it. Let's keep it on you. I'll take you to the fish fry after I fillet you. <laughs> so that was uh, Terrence Buck Crawford response to what Errol Spence Jr. had to say. About him not, you know, being able to fight Jamel before he gets to fight. And, you know, just listening to that, I just, like I said, I got this crazy feeling that he wants to fight Jamel more than he wants to fight Errol the True Spence Jr. Uh, not saying that he doesn't want that fight with Errol, uh, because that's a big fight. Uh, that's an undisputed matchup as well. Uh, I think he respects Errol more than he respects Charlo. Uh, he just has a, a under underlying disdain for Charlo. I don't know what it is. I don't know it's because uh Charlo's uh bravado. I don't know what it is why he seems to get up under Terrence Buck Crawford's skin. But uh honestly guys, I think the fight with Charlo if Terrence Buck Crawford did move up to 154, I think that would be a tougher fight for him uh being that, you know, th that uh Jamel is a the, a bigger guy. You know, he's he fights at 154. Uh, he's very athletic. Uh, he has a lot of power. I would say decent power. I think since he's been with Derrick James, uh, he has learned how to sit down on his punches a lot better. You know, he doesn't have a high knockout ratio. I think he's 35-1. and one. I think he has like 19 KOs. So he doesn't have a high KO, knock, KO rate. But uh, as of late, since he's been with Derrick James, he has been, you know, putting guys on their behind. So... He does have power. Uh, Terrence Bud Crawford, you know, seen as the pound for pound best fighter in the world. Uh, the skill set, I think Terrence Bud Crawford's skill set is a little bit higher uh, than Jamel Charlo. I do like Jamel Charlo. I actually put Jamel Charlo 
on my pound for pound list, guys. So make sure you guys go check out that video uh, where where I was comparing my pound for pound list to uh, ESPN's.com uh, new pound for pound list. And I do have Jamil on that list, by the way. But uh, you guys tell me what you think about Terrence Crawford. Uh, disdain for Jamel Charlo. Uh, do you think he really wants to fight Jamel more than he wants to fight Errol? Uh, you guys let me know what you think about that in the comments section. It's the CMB. I'll talk to you guys in the next one. And I'm out. Peace.